Hi, uh, and uh, welcome back to the uh, blog. And what I want to share with you today is a way of creating an archives page for your blog, uh, in particular for the thesis theme. And uh, the way we accomplish this is through a little snippet of code, but what I'm talking about, I just have a look here. It creates uh, a by month, by category and the last 50 posts. Now you could have more if you want, it, it's entirely up to you, I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And the way we accomplish it is through a snippet of code. Yeah, I just want to show you here, the. this is the original uh, code here. And it starts off with, uh, say this in the custom functions PHP file, remove action uh, thesis archives template and uh, add this and it's actually replacing the the uh, archive template and it goes on to uh, call the function is called custom sitemap and if is page this is where you put the uh, name of the page in that you'll reference we'll do that in a second and it uh, will display the pages uh, it will display the categories or the post by month and by category and uh, the last 50 posts. Now if you wanted to put say 80 uh, you just simply change that to 80 that figure there to 80 and this figure here and here make sure you change that to 80. Alright so the way I've ch uh, changed this to suit myself is uh, I don't want to replace the archives page so I've removed uh, that part of the code so delete that and I don't want to display the pages so after the uh, beginning of the div here we take the H3 down to the beginning of the next heading 3 See that? You've got H3, and we take it down to the uh, just before the beginning of the next H3, and delete that. And that's how I end up with just the uh, monthly listings, the uh, category listings, and the last 50 posts on my page. Alright, so I'll just get rid of that. Now I hope that's making you key. I just go back over that. I removed. I removed the uh, the action to get rid of the archives template, and I removed the heading H3 for pages because I don't want the pages to dis uh, display, and it gives my first uh, heading as by month on the page. So I delete that. Now, what you end up with is this code down the bottom that I've already put in, so I'll just get rid of that. And this is it here, and the function, and the div class is there, and then it begins, the first heading is by month. And of course the other important thing to remember is, uh, whatever name you choose, whether it be sitemap, or archives, or or whatever you like to name it, the permalink that you will get after you update the page, after you publish the page, will, will uh, be seen here and you must copy that, archives to, and place that in the code here, where it had 204. Alright. that in there. Just replace the text only. Okay. And then what you end up with is once you uh, of course save that and upload it using your FTP program uh, to uh, your custom folder on your domain and you would also then go to your uh, site options for thesis 
and click on the pages your new page should appear here and you would select that hit save and go back to your uh, blog and you should have uh, once you refresh the page uh, and you uh, heading for your nav menu with your uh, archives appearing all right now if you have any problem just leave a, a comment in the box below and I can help you out and uh, but this is predominantly for the uh, thesis theme if you want to adapt this to uh, WordPress you might need to go and have a look at what the some of the functions are if you want to delve into that Okay, now the next thing we might like to do is add a little bit of styling to that uh, uh, archives page. At the moment it looks like this. And what I'm going to attempt to do is to put the uh, month and categories on one side and the post listing on the other. Uh, sort of like a, a sidebar. Uh, have the uh, month and category like a sidebar. Now what I'm going to do today is using some styling and the styling we're going to use is this here which I've opened up my uh, custom CSS file and applied the uh, uh, CSS to uh, the custom sitemap and archives page I'll include this as well uh, at the bottom of the post and now that I've done that I want to save that and I want to uh, upload it to the uh, custom CSS to the uh, custom folder in thesis click OK to replace that just take it out of the way again for the moment So after refreshing the page, we end up with uh, columns on the left with the month and category and your latest 50 posts appearing on the right. The reason I'm going to end it here is I don't really like that there's not a space here, but I want to introduce you to a couple of uh, a couple of add-ons for Mozilla Firefox. I mentioned them briefly in the previous post. One is called Web Developer and the other is called Firebug and I, I want to show you how these work and how they can help you in your uh, development uh, of your blog alright so, so just for now I'll close off on this video and uh, you can see the video underneath this one and we're at the introduction to uh, these two add-ons okay thank you